so hello everyone so in this video i will be explaining the problem 1947 maximum compatibility score sum which is not that difficult problem it is a basic dynamic uh, dynamic what backtracking problem so we will understand that why it is a backtracking problem and uh, we will understand our uh, de develop our pro thought process and approach and then we will be coding it so uh, let's get into the problem so the problem is saying that basically i have a list of students they have their answer sheets there is a mentor they have their answer sheets and i have to like the more they match uh, the better will be the compatibility score so uh, you might have an intuition that okay i hope you have already read the problem okay so i, I don't waste time explaining the problem it is a pretty lengthy one okay anyway so uh, so the more the ma the paper of student and a particular mentor match the better will be the compatibility score so you may have a feeling that okay if so let's say if i take this one and this one uh, i will find the one which is matching the most but and then i will go further for the next students but that approach will be wrong you know why because let's take this example s1 s2 m1 m2 i will see that m1 and s1 are matching 100 percent m2 and s2 are matching zero percent these are students okay and mentors so uh, you, if you go with this approach you will get an answer as 100 percent 100 uh, let's say a score of 100 and if you go by another approach let's say m1 and s2 are matching 75 percent and m2 and s1 are matching 60 percent you will get a score of 135 so here it is clear that it is not necessary that the most the you should match the those student and mentors whose compatibility score is highest you have to see it in general throughout the array so uh, this gives you a little hint that you have to uh, like create all sorts of combinations that are possible and from those combination in the combination which you are getting the highest score you will like take it so for example in this score uh, first what i will do is that i will select match these two okay i don't have any bias i will just go on then i will match these two i will match these two i will get a score let's say i get a score of 100 okay then what i will do is that uh, i will come back one step uh, so these i will uh, now i will match these two and uh, this this with this and this with this and let's say my score is 95 so i won't update my result so again i will come back here so here now i will do what is that i will match this with this one okay this with this one this with this one and like you will generate all sorts of combinations so this is the major the crux of this problem you have to create all sorts of combination and then uh, get the answer so i hope it is clear now let's understand uh, code it and it will become more clear as i code it and explain the how the recursion function works okay so let's uh, get into the problem so first thing first i will write int n is equal to students dot size by the way if the approach was clear to you please like the video and subscribe the channel because it helps other people uh, like identify that this video is helpful uh, so they will watch it okay uh, vector i will make another vector bool i will main uh, name it taken mentors is equal to n comma false you must be thinking that why are you making this vector this vector is being made because see when you are mapping a particular uh, like student with a mentor that mentor is occupied let's say true so for any future as a future student i won't consider this mentor okay else this will result in two problems you won't get the answer uh, so uh, suppose if i choose now if i choose this mentor then this will get marked and for the third student only this mentor will be available so he will take this mentor and he will ignore these mentors so this is uh, why this thing is created this vector now i will make some uh, variables int result is equal to zero my initial result will be zero int index is equal to zero so this i will start from student number zero that is why uh, and int score int score is equal to zero so this will be the initial score 
now i will write a function solve uh, which will calculate all sorts of combinations so i will pass some uh, variables there so first will be students then i will pass a variable mentors then i will pass what uh, i will pass this taken mentor this is like a visited array if you are familiar with it and then this i will pass the index i will pass the score and i will pass the result so this function uh, will run and it will update my result then in the end i will return res so now let's write this function uh, okay so int uh, i will make it as a void function void solve so i will pass these things vectors and so vector vector uh, int oh, sorry it will be bool uh, taken mentors okay taken mentors then int index int score int ampersand res uh, by the way if you are wondering why there are uh, at some places i have used ampersand uh, well because like ampersand makes the thing global see for example at every recursion call your vector students mentors and result will not change it will stay constant but your score index and taken mentor these will be changing that is why ampersand is not used and this is global so this is why i have used it and uh, now let's move forward so i will just copy this line so this will be a recursive function so a recursive function has two parts base condition and i have my like choices or uh, choices so the base condition what will be the base condition the base condition will be if index is greater than and equal to n it means that all students are over then what i will do is that i will update my result so result will be maximum of result comma score so after this i will return now coming back to my choices what will be my choices so initially my compatibility score compatibility score for a particular student is zero compatibility i hope the spelling is right so score is zero so now what i will do is this for int i is equal to zero i less than what n i plus plus for that particular student i will be traversing through all the mentors that are not taken yet so taken mentor if taken mentor i is equal to false then i will set that particular mentor as true taken mentor i is equal to true and i will calculate the compatibility score of, of that mentor with the particular student at index x i sorry index is equal to index so i will just compatibility score i will just create a function calculate comp comp score in this what i will be passing is that i will be passing variables students mentors mentors the index of the students and the index of the mentor so this will give me a compatibility score okay i will write this function later then what i will do is that i will solve uh, i will call another recursive call where i will pass all these things copy and paste with one change that i will increase my index by one and i will add something to my compatibility uh, score so uh my index so i will go to the next student then so my index will increase by 1 and also my score that was initially 0 uh i will add the compat the latest compatibility score with this and like go on further and after coming from that call i will set my taken mentor as false because uh, so I, because i have to choose make another combination also so suppose initially i chose with this one uh so now i am thinking that what if i would have chosen this one so this will be set to false that is why 
so taken is equal to false this will become false and that's the problem it is done now all you have to do is that you have to write that function compatibility function so int uh, compatibility function compatibility okay this is the name and i will pass these variables so till this s okay now i have one s index see uh, students index and int int m index mentors index so now uh, so i will be calculating this compatibility score so int score is equal to zero initially now i will write a for loop for int i is equal to zero i less than students s index uh, dot size i plus plus okay so this is basically the length of the answer sheet and now i will uh, check if they are uh, matching so if students uh, s index i is equal to mentors m index i then i will increase my score plus plus and if they are not matching then obviously i will will do nothing and then i will return score so that's the problem for you let's test this i hope i have not made any okay there is some mistake some spelling mistake taken mentors okay taken mentors so i have to rectify this control v control v control v i hope rest is fine okay so this is running now let's submit it so it got submitted so you know like it since you had to create all these combination that is why you thought you have to think in the backtracking way plus uh, like the time constraint like more uh, like it solidifies you that okay if i'm thinking about backtracking this time complexity will be very high it will be like uh, 2 raised to power n not 2 raised to power n but some raised to power n uh, it depends on the number of answer sheets you have uh, so so what i did was that i just uh, created a recursive function it had two parts base choices and this additional function it was just used to calculate the compatibility sum and then here i am creating all sorts of combinations and then i'm doing what i'm doing so if the problem is clear then please do like the video and subscribe the channel so thank you and have a nice day bye